Neuro Rebel here, and this week a lot of you have been asking about the recent study that came out talking about how transgender people are six times more likely to also be autistic. Uh, so this week I'm going to talk about that study a little bit and share some of my own thoughts and perspective. So, according to a recent study at Cambridge's Autism Research Center, transgender and gender diverse individuals are three to six times more likely than cisgender adults to also be diagnosed autistic. Can I just say I'm not even remotely surprised by this fact before we go any further? I think. A lot of you out there may not be surprised by this either. <laughs> so what do I think? Well, as a non-binary, gender fluid, pansexual, autistic person, yeah, at least in my case, I would say that this theory, this hypothesis, this data, this study is holding up seems to be accurate. I can't argue against it. What role does autism play in all of this gender, sexuality, all of it? What does it play? You know, it's really hard to say. There's definitely a link. Science is linking this together. It's not deniable anymore. Uh, for me, I would feel like my gender expression and my gender and my sexuality have always been where they are. Being autistic has, at least for me, made it so that I am more likely, I think, than other people to be very open and honest with who I care about, who I love, my gender, all of this stuff. I don't feel it's necessarily anyone's right to have an opinion on these things because they are personal things to me uh, and I tend to care a little bit less about what other people think and I think that probably is tied to being an autistic person in my opinion at least in my case and my personal experience that that is the the impact that autism has on my gender issues and my sexuality uh, anyway guys those are just some thoughts if you found this video helpful be sure to subscribe and share and like and do all the things I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.